Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Today, I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks that I use to diagnose my clients' QuickBooks before doing any sort of cleanup or assessing the health of their QuickBooks file. And today, I'm showing you the overview feature. The overview is available only to accountants who have a QuickBooks Online Accountant account. So let's go ahead and get started. From the dashboard, on the left navigation bar, click Overview. The Overview is a recent feature that has been added to QBOA, or QuickBooks Online Accountant. And it is a work in progress. So you may see a different version from what I'm showing you now, but rest assured there's a lot more functionality that's being added. The point of the overview is to help accountants and bookkeepers to get a sense of the health of a client's um, QuickBooks file and, and the health of that data in the file. And it's supposed to help us to uh, be able to price monthly services to um, scope out uh, any cleanups that need to be done and to get a general sense of the health of our clients files so this first section it says company setup and you can see the type of um, qbo subscription that they have uh, whether they have a payroll subscription whether they have enabled sales tax and whether there are any apps that have been connected in the next section, we have banking activity. And this lists all of the bank and credit card accounts that the company has set up in the chart of accounts. We'll start here with a statewide bank, showing that it has a zero bank balance. So this is the balance from the uh, that has been downloaded from their bank account in the bank feeds showing that the QuickBooks balance has uh, $33,000. There are 22 unaccepted transactions, meaning there are 22 transactions sitting in the bank feeds window that need to be added or matched. And there are tw uh, 45 transactions that are unreconciled. That means that those transactions are sitting in the bank reconciliation window and have not been reconciled. And lastly, it shows you the date that the account was last reconciled, in this case, 12-31-2021 uh, for our sample company. So if we look at the unaccepted transactions, we have 22, you can click. And it takes you to the bank feeds window, and then you can see the 22 transactions here that still need to be worked. So either they're added or matched in QuickBooks. Now let's look at the unreconciled transactions. So this will take you to the bank register for that account. And you need to look for the transactions that don't have an R. So these are unreconciled. You can also filter for the reconcile status as not reconciled. Apply, and then you can see that these are all of the transactions that have not yet been reconciled. And here we're looking for old transactions. So any transactions that are older than 12-31-2021. So you can see this account was reconciled through 12-31-2021. And as you can see here, we have transactions dated for November, July, June. These are all old transactions that are probably duplicates, possibly some checks that maybe weren't cleared, but certainly a check to the Internal Revenue Service would have been cleared by now. So these need to be investigated and they need to be cleaned up. They may need to be um, voided or deleted or um, addressed in some way as to why they're still showing as uncleared in QuickBooks. 
Here's a savings account and it says no bank data, QuickBooks transactions only. That means that the, the account has not been um, added in the bank feeds. So there's only an account in the chart of accounts and it doesn't have any transactions and it doesn't have a balance. So, uh, and it has never been reconciled. What this looks like is, is uh, an account that has been added to QuickBooks, but it has never had any activity in the account. And then there's a credit card account. And again, same thing, you have a bank balance. This is the balance downloaded from the bank, the balance in QuickBooks, and then the number of unaccepted transactions and unreconciled transactions, and then the last date that the uh, credit card account was reconciled. When I look at this, my main concerns are whether the accounts have been reconciled, and if so, when was the last date that they were reconciled, as well as unreconciled transactions. So how many transactions are sitting there that are old, that have not been reconciled, because generally those are duplicate transactions or invalid transactions that need to be cleaned up. So this gives me a sense of what those are. And of course I can drill down as I showed you to figure out what needs to be cleaned up. And then here I can see that um, these are the transactions that are sitting in the bank feeds. And again, I have an idea of the, trans the volume of transactions that need to be added. And finally, we have a section here for common issues. And these are accounts that may need your attention. First, undeposited funds. It's telling us that there are 56 uncleared transactions in undeposited funds. We have uh, three transactions totaling 7,571 in uncategorized asset. There are two transactions in uncategorized income and four transactions in uncategorized expense. We have a balance in opening balance equity. And then there are six accounts with negative asset, uh, negative balances in asset and liability accounts. And we have negative accounts receivable, negative accounts payable, negative uh, Chase credit card balance, negative federal income tax payable, opening balance equity, and there's even, it says view all, you can see the rest of them. Let's look at undeposited funds because this is a, an area that generally gets messed up. Okay, so here are all of the transactions that don't show an R, like these, need to be addressed, need to uh, be looked at to see if they're old. And if so, then they need to be cleaned up. So again, let's filter for not reconciled, apply. And then you can see all the transactions that are uncleared in undeposited funds. And you can see that there are quite a few old transactions that are an indication of uh, customer payments probably not being entered correctly. So it looks like perhaps the client is entering a customer payment, they're entering it to undeposited funds, but then when they deposit the money, when they record a deposit, they're not applying those deposits in the undeposited funds window, they're probably recording these directly to income. And so we would be looking for income balances uh, or income transactions uh, that are deposit transactions in income. That would be a sign of a problem uh, with the undeposited funds uh, window. You can also view the chart of accounts from here just to get a feel for uh, the accounts that are being used by the client, whether there's any cleanup that needs to be done to the chart of accounts. And you can also view some reports directly from here, the balance sheet and the profit and loss. Just as a reminder, this is an accountant only view. So only accountants can see the overview.
I think so far that this is uh, very helpful. I'd like to see more functionality, but overall this gives you a good sense of the, the health of the QuickBooks file. And um, I personally have a very specific uh, workflow that I use for diagnosing my clients' books, but, but this is certainly a great start for me to get a general sense of the health of my client's file. And uh, there is a link here to provide feedback about what you think of the overview window and to let uh, Intuit know um, what you think, whether you like it, whether you don't, and to give them some comments. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. If, if this video is helpful, make sure that you like it, leave a comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel to get the latest videos. And remember, there are some free goodies if you look at the description box below. Claim those free goodies and join my Facebook community of bookkeepers. Bye.